Copy link. I'm live now with a spooky game. Post created. Awesome. You have summoned me, and I have come, wife. Hello, ethics congregation. Yes, it is nice to be the internet's wife. Just sending out some pings, then we'll get started. Uh, everyone, I'm live with no one lives under the lighthouse. Now the question becomes, do we send one of these pings on Twitter too? Yeah, sure. Twitter is like the lowest engagement of all the social networks. But, you know, I still like it. Dun dun dun. Ah, chat. Chat, chat, chat. Hello, them. Mm -hmm. I always feel like. Wait a minute. One second. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there is an R after the H and before the final M. I didn't know if there was or if I was just like going crazy. I also uh, just recently did some uh, did some uh, did some fine tuning on my microphone, so now my cord is way too tight, and I feel like I'm gonna knock the whole thing over. There, that's better. <clears throat> All right, those who join late, they join late. I'm not sticking around to wait. Uh, probably won't be for a whole stream. Kind of want to check this out myself too. Yeah, uh, I I really recommend it. This is one of those games that I've pretended to have played because I've heard such good things. And I want people to think I'm based and I play cool games, but I didn't actually get around to it. So I've actually l had a couple of conversations where I've just lied about playing this game. Yes, there's an R. Awesome. <laughs> uh, hey, Gabriel. Cifarelli. I hope you're Italian, and I hope that wasn't offensive sounding. New game. Also, I might, uh, might pause the stream like in an hour or so to get myself some coffee. Right, we're in the lighthouse. The first thing we see is the door. But I'm actually going to break away from conventional... Uh, I'm going to break away from the intention of the game designer, and I'm going to go upstairs first. Also, uh... Wait, 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 wait. What's going on with the stream? Are you guys seeing this in... Um... It seems to me like... Hold on. Feels like for some reason it's being projected in like just up in the up left corner. Is that right? Or is that just um the stream preview that's going crazy? Let's see if it works now. Uh, looks weird. Yeah, it looks weird, right? It looks like it's just in the upper uh, upper left corner. Uh, graphics, full screen. Ah. Yes, this might explain it. There we go. How is it looking now? 
Yeah, it's cornered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, started it in a lower resolution. Alright, so here's something. Um, also, I don't know how bright the... Um, the resolution is on your end. Uh, Monomi. This is a uh, Tsukimi. Like in uh, every FromSoft game. A moon viewing platform. But uh, yeah, we should probably play the game correctly. Oh man, I can't even jump or run. What kind of game is this? Quite dark? Yeah, it's dark on my screen too, but I think the stream might be making it even darker. Is this better? What do I do with this? Um... Whoa! Oh, I like this. Do we turn around now? Nothing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um... How about we go with the uh, lamp? Does that change anything? Do you play as Robert Pattinson in this game? Uh, well, Robert Pattinson is one of my uh, original Discord channel emojis, so maybe. I quite like Robert Pattinson. I think he's a pretty cool guy. Whoa, 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 what was that noise? That actually startled me a bit. <laughs> Yo. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, they're gonna toy around with this too. Trying to use some controls. Um, last sprint is shift. Oh, I can't sprint. Oh, it's left shift. They put it into right shift, I think. Uh, interact, fire, left mouse button, reload. Okay. Maybe shift just doesn't work for me. Whatever. This zooms it in. I'm just gonna assume they don't want me to use the oil on those gears. Which Aconite is this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Casative hasn't showed up to tell me. Oh god damn it. I'm getting a phone call. Everybody, one second. You're going to listen to me speak in Icelandic. Hi. Bless her. Ah, thank you for calling. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to go to the Já, en ekki hjá mér, ég mun lifa veilifu. Það er þetta. Yes, yes, yes. Og heru, ég því ég kom ekki til eiga í oktober, þá verð ég að vísa að þannig myndi ég skjóta á bara snemma í november. Þannig að kannski hitti ég bráði meðan ég er þetta. Það er það, það er það bara í þetta skinnir hóla. Ég er nefnilega var að heyra um hana fyrst held ég seinasta föstu daga, seinasta sunnu daga eða eitthvað, en já, kannski, hef ég náði því. Það er sko ekki núrum held ég held það, það er næstu. Jú. Sjötta. Yes, 
Yes. En hérna heru, ég þarf alveg hringi þig aftur, ég pínu upptekin nokkur út núna. Yes, takk fyrir. Bye. Sorry about that everyone. My grandpa was in the hospital and he decided to call me to tell me he's all right and he ruined the stream for everyone. Ah. Grandpa's, right? Uh, the lighthouse was excellent. I haven't seen the lighthouse either, even though by all accounts it's the most Acer movie they ever made. Oh wait. What's this? Ah. Jesus, that's bright. Ah, I'm in a Junji Ito story. I'm gonna die. Heard a lot of Danish spoken by friends. Icelandic sounds like the Scottish version of it, and it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, Danish is already very, very harsh sounding. It's like, uh, yeah, I will call me mine a tip tip uldefa. And it, it sounds such like it just sounds like such a such an ugly language. Um, I quite like Swedish and Norwegian. I think they sound much more pleasant. But Icelandic, Iceland was founded by a bunch of Norwegian Vikings who stole a bunch of Scottish and Irish women, and then they just created this weird ethno experiment here uh, way in the north. So yeah, Icelandic is basically old Norwegian spoken by uh, a bunch of Scottish and Irish women. Like, that's kind of how the language formed. It sounds like you are summoning a scary fey creature. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Do you live in the basement? He probably does not live under the basement. In the in the lighthouse, I've uh, I've T-shirt that says I don't speak Icelandic in Icelandic. You talk Icelandic? Yeah, it's pretty cool. But yes, sorry about my grandpa, everyone. I'll uh, scold him the next time I meet him. Ah. Uh. Alright, so I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do now. It feels to me like they're trying to tell me to go to sleep, but I don't think there's a bed. Oh, wait. Yes, of course. Pull up the sandbags, and then the motion of them falling will turn the light. What do Swedish and Norwegian sound like? I don't speak Swedish and Norwegian, but they sound... They kind of sound like what I said, but a bit softer and friendlier. Too early for sleep, it's 3 p.m. Is this PT? This is not PT. Yeah, yeah. We fixed the lighthouse, everyone. Look at that. Look at that. What a beautiful game. That's your trailer shot right there. <laughs> Swedish depends on is it Sweden Swedish or Finland Swedish? <laughs> ah crap! I need more oil. Okay. I suppose he ran away on a boat, left the duty of his... the bastard. Oh, so I was the previous uh, keeper. Now there's no one on the island. Tell me if this is a good voice for this guy. Are you playing as Robert Pattinson? You can't all just drop into chat and ask me if I'm Robert Pattinson. <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time. <laughs> uh, but yes, I am. <laughs> Especially the lens itself. I. <laughs> the establishment will find ye an assistant soon. I will get back here in a week. I. 
Good luck. Don't lose your mind, Ram the Loneliness. Don't lose your mind, Ram the Loneliness. Why wouldn't he be like throw the loneliness rather than Ram the Loneliness? These, these are the questions. Oops, I accidentally clicked buttons. I hope I didn't skip anything more. Chat, how cool is this? They actually left me with my li with my briefcase. This is like the opening of uh, Bioshock Infinite, by the way. They're sailing away, the uh, Lutest twins. But they left me with the uh, briefcase, and I can just walk away without it. Because it's a game, and I'm in control. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, now I can. Now I can sprint. Probably just the other one I could just that. There's an old boat. Some dialects of Finland and Swedish are actually incomprehensible to most Swedish speakers. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Finland, they managed to sneak their way into the Nordic countries pretty, pretty well there. Even though they're not. <laughs> but, you know, they are. Who cares? Jump in the ocean, see if you can... I don't want to die. I don't know if I have a, an autosave or not. Jump in the ocean. This is seemingly a shed of some kind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Become a squid. Yeah, that's another thing. No, no, the lighthouse spoilers because I haven't seen it. I'll be saying this every ten minutes as people drop in and start asking me if this is a reference to that one. Oh, this is quite nice. Hello, hello, Sprinda. Jump. I can't. I'm pressing space. He doesn't jump. There's some things that the mighty PlayStation One couldn't do. Jump in video game is one of them. You shouldn't expect anything less of its imitators. Or anything more, I suppose. Ew. Uh, ew. Because of the jittery, um, jittery display of the uh, PlayStation textures, which they emulate here, it feels like there's like maggots or something writhing around in this moldy old stew and on this piece of meat. It's a pretty nice looking piece of meat though. There's a lot of fat on it actually. Yeah, it's fine. It fixes when you cook it. Ew. Let's clean that up. Nice. Anything I can interact with here? No? I don't know the key here. Um, it doesn't seem like uh, maybe uh, I don't know. I think I maybe maybe I need to put some like icons or emblems or something there. Uh, there we go. No jump equals no fall damage. So that's something lighthouse keepers didn't have to worry about. That's true. Lighthouse keepers were very lucky about that. Okay. Hey, I got a pipe. Some shirts, I think, and a compass. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, it's me. I uh, I'm Tom Hanks from the Polar Express. Clean shaven. I think I would have thrived as a lighthouse keeper like 100, 150 years ago. I think that would have been a good place for me. I think the real lighthouse are the friends we made along the way. Possible. Yeah, guess what we're doing again. What about the key? What about the key?
Oh, you just straight up can't run when you're in the lighthouse. That was an ominous sound, but I talked over it, so I'm fine. Didn't get spooked for nothing. So are you now playing as a different guy than before in the intro? Yes, I'm the new guy. No seagulls? There were seagulls. There were seagulls when I uh, stepped out into the from the port in the beginning. Ah. Here's the problem. No oil in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, oil guy. Oil dingus. So you were Willem Dafoe before, yes. That's me. By the way, chat. I've decided that for the Silent Hill 2 remake, I really want them to make James Sunderland one of those Patrick Bateman, Tyler Durden sort of like Rick Sanchez, Sigma male uh, models. I would love nothing more than for him to become a bad internet meme. Whereas like, it's clear that the people who made this meme didn't really know what they were doing. <laughs> going to be literally me. Yes, yes, exactly. That's what I want from James Sunderland. He's me, for real, for real. Uh, ominous, ominous. Something, some force is invading the lighthouse. Uh-oh. I have a feeling those boats are gonna be gone. This boat is gonna be gone. It won't let me escape. Draw Shia in. <gasps> what the hell? No, the force. Maybe it was me. Because I went to uh to the outside. And I drug all this, dragged all this filth in with me. The boat is alive. The boat isn't alive. There's some... Is this Bioshock Infinite D make? Yes. Your predecessor played a prank on you and is under the boat. What a goofy pal. <laughs> Lol. Just a prank, bro. No need to overreact. And I shoot him. Those damn prank videos, man. I, I'm telling you. Just a prank, bro. I'm just pretending to scratch your windows or to stone your car or whatever. We gotta check out that boat. Hello. No seagulls, huh? That's what you said earlier, chat? What's this? Ah, yes. It's straight up just put a texture of a bunch of potato sacks or whatever. You love seeing it. Like the prankster who pretended his girlfriend died? I don't know about that one, but yeah, that guy's an asshole. It's just a prank, bro. I'm just pretending to beat up your kid. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> Kind of looks like the uh, the uh, the. Uh, uh, it's not the communion rune. 
Uh, I'm not talking about the eye rune from Bloodborne. There's another rune, I think, that has also an eye. It may be communion, actually. Because it had, like, these sorts of beams of light emanating around it. Damn, my guy just cannot sprint long. It's my uh, camera effect. No. The filth, it comes in with me. <gasps> Hello? Something happened in the, in the bookshelf. Also, uh, my understanding is that there's more than one way of playing it. Apparently, there's like a shotgun you can get very early on in the game. Um, I don't know anything about that. I also hope that you guys can hear the game audio, because that's been a problem in these streams before. <laughs> because, uh, uh, so you're in Yarnum confirmed? I might be. I might be. We know there's a dry talk in Yarnum, so why shouldn't there be uh, be uh, a lighthouse? Uh, it reminds me of school, that symbol, because it vaguely resembles certain things teenagers here in Finland like to draw. Oh. We're going. What? No, it's locked now. It was also locked earlier when I tried, I think. The spiraling staircase represents insanity. And that panel from Junji Ito when uh, they were in the spiral thing. <gasps> what this? What? No, what the hell? Changed up here. No. This is gonna be uh, <clears throat> played up, I think. There's going to be a moment where I'm up here and I see somebody down there using my shit house or uh, standing before my shack. Actually, don't need to use the uh, the uh, thing now. Hello. Oh, or I'm gonna be walking down and something's gonna crawl in through the window. I'm just not gonna look at the windows. Then I'm gonna be like this. Just ruin it for everyone. I bet he doesn't even pay rent. Yeah, this guy, first of all, uses my outhouse and doesn't pay me. It doesn't pay me. And he eats food that is clearly not labeled with his name in the fridge. Yeah, and he tracks mud on the... He tracks mud into my, into my cabin. Let's do a bit more exploration of the islands. A lot of seagulls around that uh, cabin. I'm wondering if something is going on there. And they're trying to direct me with the seagulls. Question, does this count as open world? Ah, uh, oof. So, we want to get started on the genre classification rant, which I think I've had a few times. Um, like, design-wise, yeah, I mean, you're this is a world that is open to some extent. There's some locks on progress here and there. I can't go into the basement, for example. But if we're talking about uh, style, then no, right? This is, you know, it's like saying it's Portal a first-person shooter. 
Like, yes, technically speaking it is, but when you say first person shooter, you're not talking about, uh, you're not talking about portal, right? That's not what you mean when you say first person shooter. Um, so is this an open world game? Yes, uh, objectively, yes, it is, but no, you wouldn't call this an open world game. If that makes sense. So is Mario 64 an open world game? Uh, no, that's actually not an open world game, because you unlock levels in that. There's, like, locks on progress in the main, um, throughout the environment as well. Get out of my, uh... Damn bird's gonna eat all my potatoes. Hmm. Rope, shovel. This is actually so cool. Look at how like dark it is just inside here. There might be a guy standing right there. Like you see this corner? There might be a guy standing right there right now. I wouldn't know. Those rocks seem significant. Kind of remind me of fingers. Oh. Wait, what rocks? These rocks? Oh yeah, I can see that. It's like an open palm. It's the god hand, everyone. That's what the birds mean. It's Festo. The levels are pretty open. Yeah, but um, the levels are pretty open, but... Um, but they're all locked behind, uh, like, you need to pay stars to unlock that, so I wouldn't, like, that's a platforming game. You wouldn't call that, like, whether or not the levels are open, like, it's a platforming game, right? This is, like, so I've actually, I've had a lot of arguments recently with people about genre classifications in general. And this is, like, this might be a rant that devolves into me making us like actual video on this because I have so many thoughts about this um, but generally speaking I think there's three ways we classify genres one is we note the the, the sentiment of a work another is we uh, observe the presentation style and the third is you classify the movement it belongs to so like punk rock or progressive rock these are not like they don't describe a sound they don't describe uh, like kind of describe a sentiment but they're really uh, movements in rock uh, or in music I should say and there's like the keep that noise keeps happening whenever I get in here you could probably um, like you can you can slice and dice genre classification into a billion more different ones you could say well this is a fast genre or a slow genre and then just fit it in accordingly but Generally speaking, I think those three are the only real genre classifications. And my issue is that when it comes to games, we have locked in on presentation being the core um, classification bar for genres when I think it should be sentiment. So when you say uh, first-person shooter, uh, yeah, technically that describes any game where you're in the first person and you can technically shoot, like Portal. But first-person shooting is not the sentiment of Portal. Portal is like a comedic, or like a dark comedic sci-fi game. And I think if you classify it like that, that's a much easier way to get it, right? So like, um, something like, uh, something like Amnesia The Dark Descent. Yeah, it's presented a lot closer to Call of Duty than it is Silent Hill, but clearly it belongs in the same genre as Silent Hill, you, like, you'd classify it with Silent Hill before you would classify it with Call of Duty, right? When you actually put put it to the test, nobody wants to classify genres by presentation. We always want to go by sentiment. But I get so much pushback on this. This is why also, uh, when it comes to, like, character action games, for example, I think, uh, I think the, the hot take is the correct take, that they're just action games with really good action. Um... Because when you describe, like, what is the core sentiment of Metal Gear Solid? Is it action? Like, is Metal Gear Solid an action game like Die Hard is an action movie? No. Is The Dark Knight an action movie? It's a movie with action in it, but is it an action movie? No. But Die Hard is clearly an action movie. Uh, likewise, something like Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, those are clearly action games. Um, the key sentiment of those games is the action. But... 
something like Call of Duty gets to be an action game, whereas Devil May Cry has to be relegated to the subgenre of character action. Which I think is ridiculous. I actually, th I actually don't know how to progress anymore. I'm thinking I need to do something with this cross. I need to maybe bring it out there. Or I need to maybe bring it to the boat. Maybe my boat is legitimately haunted. Genres are very limiting. Yes, but they're necessary. Um, you always, um, you need, like, you, you need to be able to describe a work um, in relations to other works. So genres, like, every genre is invented. Every genre is made up. And they always break down under immense enough scrutiny. But I find that when you're describing a genre, the best way to do it is by um, by describing the sentiment of the work rather than the presentation style or the movement it belongs to. Because I think that's when you when you ask somebody, can you recommend me uh, a good horror game? They're not asking you to recommend them a game that belongs to some movement of game design. They're not asking you to uh, recommend them a game that has you hide from monsters, they're asking you to uh, recommend a game that has a certain sentiment. Like this, right? Oh, my nose is getting so stuffed up. I understand why they're necessary to most people. I mostly just watch trailers of gameplay if I want to play it. Uh, yeah. As for literature, do you think we could categorize with genre and style to begin with, at least without falling in the trap of over-categorization? Uh, well, so, um, with literature, like, yeah, there's definitely presentation styles in literature, um, but we're, we're visual animals, we think, in terms of visuals. So, something like movies and, um, and games are much easier to classify with presentation styles than something like a book or a song. Uh, it's possible to do that. You can, but you know, it's not as not as uh, not as easy. I'm legit just moving around this place. Oh wait, am I supposed to do something with this cloth I found? Hmm. Okay, so I can't actually bring the uh, broom out here with me. Okay, let's see if I get the sound again. There might just be the door closing. I'm so glad I finally caught one of your streams. Uh, hello, skeptical bucket man. Do you think somebody lives under the lighthouse? I'm told they don't. But, uh... I'm not allowed to go in there, so I don't actually know. Okay, so I'm actually just... I don't know what I'm supposed to do to progress anymore. And I really hope this isn't one of those, oh, you just have to wait for 10 minutes for the night to come kind of games. That would be uncool. Oh, wait a minute, I get it. Clean the lighthouse, clean the lighthouse. That's the ticket. I'm skeptical about it. Yeah, me too. I, I don't think anybody really lives under the lighthouse. Sure, we saw a silhouette down there earlier and the old lighthouse keeper disappeared, but like, come on. Ah, uh, that took all day. Oh no. Okay, 
you can still see outside, but it's all covered in black goop. <gasps> they cut the rope. This is quality game direction, everyone. And I feel like this is revenge on me for that uh, stunt I pulled in the Swamp Witch uh, Academy in Snail. Man, they took that. Now I'm just making up things to scare myself because I actually don't know what's going on. Clean the cellar door with a rag. The cellar door was uh, dirty? I didn't know. Was it dirty? I don't think I have the rag anymore. No, I don't. I noticed that, uh, I noticed that uh, they didn't go through the, through the trouble of uh, animating uh, actually an inventory you can scroll through like some people did. Hmm. Nah, but, but I understand why it's a headache to do and you don't really gain all that much. Hello? You assholes. Alright, well. Yeah, like, this is what I'm talking about. Look at, like, the way... I don't know what is causing this rendering technique. Right, look at how the texture on the rock moves up with it. This is how the old PlayStation also worked. It was like always very jittery and the actual textures weren't perfectly in place. And in a game like this, like just that something is moving here on the side, it actually like, oh no, is something happening here? And you feel kind of unnerved by it all. Cellar hatch. Cellar hatch? Err, err, err. Oh yeah, it might just be filthy, but I don't have the rack anymore, do I? No, I don't. I can't scroll it anywhere. No chase, no chase sequence. It's already almost 9 p.m. I gotta go to sleep, so I can't afford to. Can't afford to be spooked. I'm actually not supposed to be here. I know. Uh, I know too much to think I'm should. I should be here uh, because I cleaned this up went in and then it was all black inside and it's uh the cut the cord had been cut so they want me to go down and i should try to follow the black smudges yeah okay they keep going in and there was something down there that i hook or cleaned up or something. Right. Sorry that my commentary is, um, kind of deteriorated, I'm just really immersed by the game. <laughs> Am I supposed to see somebody, like, in one of the windows? Nah, probably not, because the rendering is too low poly. Maybe something in the shack I can use to uh, tie up there. 
Are you still sick, by the way? Hope you're feeling better. I'm feeling as good as a horse. Sick. Psh, psh, psh. This is very captivating. Well, thank you for that. Ah, rope. Now I need something to fasten the rope to. Don't I? Let's say no. Maybe I can just put my briefcase on the other end of the rope. Um, that's such an unnecessary, like, it's such a big sound effect. Like, whenever you walk in, it's such a, like, thunk bonk. Pixel man in the windows. <gasps> the pixel man! It's the pixel man! Oh no. Oh, you meant my reflection earlier, maybe. Very glad to hear that. I'm very I'm very glad to not be sick anymore. I keep going to these children's birthday parties because I have so many younger sisters. And so many younger siblings. Uh, younger like aunts and cousins and hickeys. And I keep attending their damn kids' birthdays. And I keep getting sick from it. Okay, so I need to put something on the end of the line. Because these kids, they're just petri dishes, man. They're just like, that's no good. Wait, where's the sack? Ah! We know where we can find sacks. And something tells me there's one in the in the in the with all the other potatoes. Maybe they want to spook you and then get used to it so that they can mean it later. <laughs> with the door sound. Yeah. Maybe. Old man shakes fist at cloud moment. I love it. <laughs> ah! See, I knew those potatoes were gonna come in handy. I'm actually gonna close this. This feels like a game with one of those. You didn't close the potatoes, so now you don't have any more food, mm, honey. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so. Is there somebody in the lighthouse? Is there somebody live under the lighthouse? Why do you not feel safe there? <laughs> Interesting that I could place it in so many different places. Bola, mash him, stick him in a stew. I uh, listened to the Andy Serkis audiobook recordings of The Lord of the Rings, which you can get on Audible. Go to audible.com slash blobbity bloobity ace or aesthetics to get your free audiobook today. I don't have a sponsorship. Um, and, um, so don't try that. But yeah, he did a he did an audio recording of The Hobbit and all the Lord of the Rings books. And it was really cool because he's just like Andy Serkis and he does like act up the characters like you would do in like a Why is this an issue now? I can't I um lift this. He plays up all the characters. He does like he does his singing and you know, booming voice for Bombadil and whatever. But when it came to Gollum, um, he actually just goes full on like, yep, I played Gollum and I'm playing Gollum again. And it's such a big performance for an audiobook, but it totally, totally works. So uh, I highly recommend that. All right, well. The... Oh. It wants another sack. That's a bad way of communicating that, actually. Small. 
Uh, it's a small island and there shouldn't be anybody else here, so there shouldn't be anything to f <laughs> not feel safe about. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I suppose there really is no one who lives under the lighthouse. That's the end of that chapter. Ah, uh, but now they can check the variables. They know there's one bag in there. In there. And I'm holding one bag. So now we get to see somebody in the windows of the lighthouse. Someone who potentially lives under the lighthouse. Hello? Is there someone live under the lighthouse? Doesn't seem like it. Even more sacks? Come on. Game. Secret ending E. Run uphill with a bag full of potatoes. Get over exhausted, faint. <laughs> Near Automata 2. Yo, what? Uh. Oh, that's me! I'm running away! Oh no! Chat! Oh! checkpoint here. Oh, was I supposed to run inside? <laughs> no, I almost made it. Uh, ooh, whatever you are, you don't live under my lighthouse, I can tell you that. Whoa. Uh, I could swear somebody just. Somebody just lived under my lighthouse. Uh. Anyways, back outside. I hope whatever that is, this doesn't live under the lighthouse. That's what I'm saying. I specifically asked for a non living under somebody is lighthouse. Is that the fabled second person perspective? Yep. Okay. All the sacks are in here now. Oh yeah. It's turning cranking time. It's cranking time, yes, everyone. This is basically siren. <laughs> Is there someone live under the lighthouse? Come up and attack me? They better not. <laughs> I didn't realize you could die. Hey now, nah, that's pretty mean. That's pretty mean. I didn't know, like I thought it was a cutscene playing the first time around. And the second time around, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Sorry about all the chair creaking. Sensitive props have disappeared. There's something right there. I can see it moving. What is that? Ah, I gotta get out of here. He's like moths. What is this supposed to be? Oh, 
don't break. No. No, what the hell, man? The damn slime off. Oh, man, they are. They're like moths. This terrible pity, like moths fluttering toward the light. I, I, tis terrible. I, the goop, tis back. The one true haunting I fear in these lighthouse days. Beat them up and... Ah, there's like a light bleed. After you spent so much time cleaning. I cleaned every goddamn thing and now it's full of damn moths. Hey. Hey, the weather's pretty crazy, man. Maybe they uh maybe the boats need to figure their own stuff out today. Hello? Damn it. Ah, it's wet. Okay, it's immersion breaking that my light is still on even though uh, it would be raining inside of it. A shovel. Oh. Is there someone buried under the lighthouse? Nice rain. I think this is actually pretty nice rain. It feels thick. Yo, what's this? Did somebody bury this today? Or was this always there? <gasps> it's a dead bird. Digging some more spaces. Low poly rain is the best kind of rain. It's the only rain which has to be thick to be visible. Every other rain tries to be subtle and actually like rain-like in reality. But like when they do rain in movies, they color the water. They use like white, uh, some white coloring so that you can actually see it on film. And a lot of the times when games do rain, you can't really see it, like in the Valley of Defilement and Demon's Souls, because it's too realistic. You need to really, like, play it up. This is what rain... Like, you're not simulating the visuals of rain, you're simulating the feel of rain. This is what rain feels like. This is not what rain looks like. Hello. Who killed the bird? <gasps> There's another patch here I can... Oh no! All the birds are dying! <laughs> Just notice there are two pets, so this lighthouse is supposed to be manned by two people at least. Missed the beginning, is there an explanation for it? That. <laughs> I don't have one, uh, it's just, they have two bats in case, uh, you know, you bring your girlfriend. Oh no! It's this again! Ah! I need to turn around! <laughs> Oh, 
Get the hell away from me, man! Get no! No! I straight up need to run to the lighthouse. I need to run to the lighthouse because it's the only door which I can easily run into. Every other door I need to make some massive turn to get to. I also think he's rubber banded to not catch me. Wait, what? I'm not supposed to run to the light? Where am I supposed to go then? Okay, game, we'll play your way. Try to shake him in the rocks, Chad. To no avail. This is how we do it. Ha! Ah. Frickin' spider. Is he gone? Hey, man. I cringe. He's saying. Hang out there. Hawking all that part of the island. Killing all my birds. <laughs> I respect the chat. <laughs> War charts towards it. Well, it's just like, you know, they changed the camera angle without changing my uh, orientation. So I, I didn't, I didn't uh, immediately connect it. Oh, it's my thingy and my key. And now it's actually like crazy, crazy rain. I can't see very far ahead. Sure it would be bad if something spooky happened. Also, I think they have deleted the exit from this little path. No, it's right here. Okay. So something moving. So there's a lightning there that illuminates things a bit. They're gonna use the lightning to show me like a reveal on the Mikdala on the on the lighthouse. That's the deal. Prop, prop. I'm just gonna casually go to the lighthouse. Also, uh, the lightning sound sounds like somebody roaring. There's a bit of that in there. Build this up. Still locked. Something I really like here uh, is that you can't keep your light out and use items at the same time. Uh, I really hope they lead more into that in future spoofs. What are you talking about, Jack? I think the rain looks good in the valley. Gives me that real filthy look. Uh, and Demon Souls. I like. I, I don't think it looks bad. I just don't. I can't see it. Like I didn't. I had to be told there was rain there before I realized. Also, it gave me a damn achievement, even though I specifically don't want those achievements, man. How many times do I need to turn those off? I hate those. I'm also like low-key scared that uh, Steam is gonna dox me. Like Joe Johnson, who lives here. We are uh, gonna give you this achievement. Hope you're not streaming. Mm -hmm. 
Is it just me or is the rope like really frayed? Am I gonna pull it up and there's like a head there? Down there. No, but I can go back down. But I can go out. I'm saying like these roaring sounds of the lightning there's nothing out there that's it Whatever shenanigans you're, 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 you're playing around there. Do you have any idea how serious a lighthouse keeper's job is in this era? Oh no, you didn't, my brother, you didn't just puncture that. Also, I'm now realizing that um, the black goop is this. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, somebody lives in, like, one of these things, probably, and is doing all these things to me. I really hope they don't try to make me, uh, do one of those chase scenes down the stairs. It does sound like a roar, right? There we go. Ah. Come on again. It's just locked because I had to shovel out. I would be interested to know if this is actually how lighthouses used to work. You just have like a crank. So, is the light off again? Bruh. That's it. Screw whoever is toying around with the light. Oh no. My light is also dying. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Chat, what was I talking about earlier? There could be somebody in the corner, and I just wouldn't know. Ah! Uh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. Yep, they're all gone. Which store was that? Uh, uh. I can't go outside. <sighs> All right, 
So, I think the basement is going to be a bit deeper than it was in the beginning. Oh no. Can I uh, fill the light up again? Okay. Don't come and kill me while I'm not looking. And my guy is so crazy, just in, in the lore of the game, like, hmm. All my oil is in the basement now. Well, I guess I better fill the light up again. That seems like the thing to do. I'm Dr. Dumbass here controlling the lighthouse. The rain and thunder sounds absence is somehow spooky. Yup. Ah, oh, what a contrast. It's daytime again. I know it's new in my heart your name was Joe Johnson. Dang it. Dang it, I... <laughs> oh no. Someone's on the roof. Oh no. Did they break through the door? What happened to us? I feel like my guy's covered in suit or something. Ah, uh, loneliness. She is uh, a cruel mistress. They keep taking all of my stuff. I'm taking this with me, by the way. Uh, dead bird. Why am I... Okay, I was gonna say, I better not have just kept that. What? To what end? To what end? Why am I bringing this moldy old stew with me? Is that like a secret ending? Oh, hey. This is a point and click adventure game, everyone. We gotta press everything. They tipped over my bucket, by the way. Okay, so... It's been a while since I got another one of these, by the way. There's probably, uh... Maybe the shotgun is actually in that chest. How's the ceiling? That's a good question. Oh, no. Hey, that was a bad question, chat. You shouldn't have asked me that. Now I need to fix that. So, that's fine. I'll put some of this on there. Oh, come on! You cannot put, like, a ramp of locks here and not let me walk to the ceiling. What is this? Yes? It's a bit misty today. Ominous, ominous. Not going back there, apparently. <clears throat> oh, now this whole thing is flooded. Can I fill it up? Like, no, I can't. I got porridge. I think it is. And it's like, you know oatmeal, if you keep it out for a couple of days, it just becomes solid as a rock. You could probably... Beat a man to death with this old meal I've just collected. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. You made me look up and I was spooked. Uh. Alright, well, I probably should go to the shack then. Uh, find some tools, fix the roof. The music is getting a bit deranged, but that's a future problem.
spiral into the dark. <sniffs> My nose is so stuffy, I don't know why. You picked all these pieces of wood to repair the roof, perhaps? And some porridge to use as glue. <laughs> I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna fix my uh, my broken roof with glue. Hello. I have uh, porridge. No. No. What? Yeah, I need um. I need to find that hammer in the shed. That's what I need to do. Is it snowing from the roof opening? No, I think it's sawdust. Sawdust used to be used as uh, insulation. Back in the olden days. What was that crazy music sting, man? Here's a ladder. And um... I suppose I'll pick this up. I'll take some planks, some nails, the hammer. What else? What else? I think that's good. Uh, look at this nail, though. That's pretty good. This is locks. Here it is. Ladder. I'm playing Minecraft, apparently. I don't need this. Can I, um... Oh, I'm supposed to do it from the inside, probably. No? Okay. Um, can I probably, um... Where's my hammer? There we go. And there we go. Ah! Maybe, um... Um... Yeah, I need to organize this place a bit better. Maybe, um... Maybe there isn't actually a prompt for me to use the ladder. Maybe I just need to... Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Did I pick the shovel up? I buried it. Well, I left it there at least. Ah! I needed to be a bit closer. Come on, man. Make me scroll through all my stuff here. Alright, so where are my nails? Um, weird choice that they have these black uh, fade-out screens whenever you interact with this stuff, rather than just making this stuff up here regularly. Like, I get it for maybe the hammer, because you don't want to have to animate that. But, um, for the nails, I don't know. Ah, uh, it's nighttime again. Wonderful. Wonderful! Is my ladder still there? Thank God. Okay, so... Ah! The moth. Emblem of death and rebirth. Oh no, I missed one! Chat. This is straight up a dangerous place for me to be because I'm not going to have whatever I need from that. So, uh, come on, why is my kitchen so disorganized? Why did you have to ruin it? 
Why am I doing with this damn porridge? Do I take it to the guy in the basement? The Emperor. That's my achievement. I hate these achievements. They should be off by default. Ah, oh, you returned all my stuff, I see. Oh no. We're going to Termina, everyone. Do you want the porridge? I can leave you. No. Uh, this isn't creepy. I'm, I'm fine. Is it missable? Maybe you'll find it later. Uh, maybe. But it feels missable because I put in one and I, I couldn't put it in as the third one. The uh, emblem I just put in. I had to put it in as the fourth. Hello? Alright. No one lives under this lighthouse. The power of oatmeal compels you. I would, like... I, I legitimately... I have a cross. I don't need to ward off evil spirits with oatmeal. I just don't. The basement. This feels like a puzzle, the basement thing. Uh, this music is getting deranged, by the way. What is this music the kids are listening to? This game takes place like 150 years ago. So it's actually after this guy would have opinions about that. What spooky music? Thief style inventory? Yep. But no thief style uh, immersive sim design. I can't like drop the oil on a candle and create a bomb or anything. All right, you freak under the basement. Oh no. Huh. Wait. Somebody might live under the lighthouse? Yeah, what did I say? It gets deeper. Oh, it gets deeper. Oh wait, I'm supposed to run? What is this? Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, damn it, and the light turns off. Ah, there we go. Previous keeper disappeared. Oh no! Look at these skulls. And I don't have any items anymore. Oh, I have this. Oh, yes. This is what I like. Tight, narrow spaces. In a PlayStation 1 horror game. What malice we find ourselves in. Ooh. 
He's dead. I swear to God, if this is just like the old lighthouse keeper and I put a, pull his mask off Scooby-Doo style, I'm gonna get pretty mad. Well, down here we go. Ah! Now what is this? No, what actually, what is this that I'm holding? Are you, uh, dead? Yeah, you're dead. doesn't unrotate but I use it here honestly wasn't planning to watch the whole stream but <laughs> have now committed <laughs> yeah well I gotta finish it now because I'm like an hour and a half in and I heard it's like a two hour game I'm really slow with games though I'm really bad at them so it's probably gonna be like two and a half ah Ah. Am I supposed to then climb this uh, chain? Probably. Right? This is just like the lighthouse. There's some force that I have to pull down. Almost stopped. False advertisement from the developers part then. Yup. <laughs> they said no one lives under the lighthouse. This is under the lighthouse though. This feels impossibly tall. No. They wouldn't do that in a video game. Just, uh, just finish up rolling down, man. Okay, can I pull it again? No, so... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall down there. I'm not gonna test that. I'm going to assume this did something here instead. Wait, this wasn't opened before. Also, the skeleton that was here is gone. This is a little trick you see a lot of in indie games. Um, <coughs> things which disappears when you no longer look at them. Uh oh. Um, like the skeleton, because animating takes a lot of time. Making things disappear when you're not looking at them is both spooky and it takes a very short amount of time. Are you alive? You're not moving. Are you a statue? What are you? Hello? Also, I don't think I had the knife to give the guy. Huh? Nani? Was I... Just imagining it. <laughs> Should 
Surely nothing eldritch is going on. No way. This house looks just like when I left it. See, here's the clothes I hung up, and here's the door on the same side. And here's that other house I had. Remember? So what does everybody think happened to this village? Good things or bad things? How do you think they connect to this lighthouse? Ah, look how good of a job I did repairing the ceiling. Let's not think twice about that. Why was I able to pick up the porridge? What interaction did they expect me to have with that thing? Oh. The sun is no longer visible and the lighthouse is still unlit. Where is the new keeper gone? Ew. What do you see in the lighthouse light that is so stubbornly hidden from us? You see something, don't you? Hey, what is this evil town talking to me about? For us, the body without the spirit is dead. So faith without work is dead also. Uh, what? My brother. Behold, even to the moon, and yet it shines not. The stars are not pure in his sight. Uh, in the sweat of your face shall you eat bread, till you return onto the ground. For out of it you was to... It was you taken. For out of it was you taken. For dust you are, and unto dust you shall return. Uh, what are you talking about, you crazy town? I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. I kept my potatoes in your cellar, you creepy man. I wonder if there's something happening on... Um... Yeah, it's a church, isn't it? I kind of want to see that before I go to the lighthouse, because there might be somebody there to talk to. Also, this feels a lot like the ending uh, to Snail, just saying... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not that original. <laughs> the Lord takes pleasure in them that fear him, and in them that hope in his mercy. Hey man. What are you talking about, man? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Christians, am I right? Hey now. No, Christians are nice people. Did you ever meet, um... Um, that guy, Jesus, who sometimes drops by in chat. I just heard thumping sound outside, but I refuse to hear it. No, go check it out. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> Everyone in chat has to encourage them to uh, check it out. It's the law. It's the law of streaming. Vertex weight can be a really tiresome thing to do depending on the model. Is that why it all sort of slides around? The vertex weight? To learn game design. This really felt like one of them Lovecraft short stories, though less racism. Well, you know, it's not over yet. Maybe at the end, the guy's just gonna be like... Screw you, man. How dare ye not be a pure bloody Englishman? Lovecraft was all about that. Oh no. Ah! No. Ah! I wasn't startled or anything. <laughs> I wasn't startled or anything. <laughs> ah, that looked kind of bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. 
<laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Wait, let's see if uh, something happened with the chain. <laughs> Spooky, scary. <laughs> Hello, Mercy. I like your cat. <laughs> Not sure which startled me more. <laughs> the pixel man attacks again. That damn ass pixel man, I tell ya. Ah, uh, yes. You know, I'm not saying that this game stole from Snail. But Snail also had a, a big horror section that took place in a lighthouse. Just saying. I kind of, uh, I kind of have a copyright claim on uh, lighthouses in video games. Oh yeah, this, this, this looks like a, a, a place to go, you know? <laughs> Is that tight tunnel Junji Ito, a Junji Ito reference? This tunnel, it belongs to me! I have to be in here! That's also, um, if you ever go clubbing, um, and you really, like, look, this is a little bit of a trick you can pull, but if you really want to get late, you can pull that, uh, Junji Ito panel and be like, that tunnel over there, and you're talking about, like, your lady friend, I gotta be in there! Nine times out of ten, you'll get the close, guaranteed. If you don't, if it's not true, you have to dislike the video, and there's no dislikes, so it's not true. So it is true, I mean... Okay, are these like corpses? Don't actually say that to a woman though. Um, because they feel like, see again, this is the beauty of like places in one models. It feels like there might be faces on that, but I might be just, I might just be imagining that. I'm trying to hope this doesn't fall on me. I've, <laughs> I've used that one before. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. It's like a tapeworm. I can put something in its mouth. Also, this looks like the uh, that section in Amnesia. Before you get to the uh, the inner sanctum. Remember, there's like a bridge and it branches off into two paths and then there's another path there. Amnesia, the Dark Descent. This kind of looks like that part of Amnesia too, where you're like um, torturing that guy from the memory. Oh, no way! Schlong. Gotta censor this stream now. Oh, it really does. Yeah! I thought they're cocoons or something for the moths. Oh, yeah, possibly. You don't want to know what shape I came out the other side. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! This is the ritual dacker I was supposed to put in the hand of the statue. But I was just messing around. Also, Amnesia the Dark Descent had like a section where you... I had a section where you walk back in time and you're like in a village. Um... So I'm, I'm imagining that may have had some uh, inspiration on this game. Ah, yes. What the hell is this? Big kidney stone, probably. Here you go. Bloop. <gasps> what did I say, chat? Amnesia the Dark Descent. Out now. Uh, December or October 2010, I think it was. Or 2000 something? You can't scare me. Here you go. Here's your knife, my good man. I just gotta step outside for a moment. Forbidden candy. Ooh. Oh wait, I'm still in this timeline?
Oh no, it's another one of those moths. Also, it's not a cutscene anymore. <laughs> Well, something's going on in the church. Why don't we go investigate? Yesterday, Ceres Fauna and Hakos Bales finished their Amnesia playthrough. It was fun to watch. I freaking love Amnesia The Dark Descent. I made a video about that game. I do regret making that video about like Amnesia versus Outlast because it really um I think Amnesia I should have just done a video on Amnesia rather than shackle it to Outlast. My thinking was, oh, I'll get two kinds of fans watching, but instead what happened was I only got people who played both games to watch. It was like, hmm, miscalculation. Fix the lighthouse. <clears throat> yes, of course. And um, <clears throat> here, I assume, are all their graves. <clears throat> Don't lose your mind from the loneliness. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Ooh. Keep saying that. I'm never sure if he's scared or tired. He's like, uh, 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 I gotta catch my breath. Is this still my shack? Well, I can't, I can take the shovel. Oh, wait a minute. Dare I go back and dig up that grave they were just standing over? I dare, I'm gonna do that now. Forgot to say, I don't think vertex weight is causing the sliding. It's more a way to ensure the geometry stays in place, uh, especially in organic models. Hmm. Yeah. So my next game, uh, after I do the Snail Remaster, is going to be in this uh, style. It's going to be a PlayStation 1 uh, style game, so I need to learn about all of this. So many balls. Can I bury uh, more people? Dig up more people? No? Do you have any opinion on what I just did? No, you don't. You better not. You fuck it. Freaking NPC. You can't talk back to me. I'm the player character. Private dating chat girls. Ooh la la. Hold on a minute. Let me just give them my credit card info. Did you get an achievement? Yeah, I keep getting these achievements. I thought I had it all um, turned off, but they keep pestering me with these pop ups. That's all these achievements are to me. They're just pop-ups. Hello? No? Okay. Alright. Nothing. Nothing. Probably nothing. Um... Mm -hmm. Nothing here too, I imagine. But she's here. Don't lose your mind from the loneliness. And on to Manny said, Behold the fear of the Lord. 
That is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Ooh, that's pretty deep, bro. Stop being so good at the game, then. The achievements will go away. I'm not even good at the game. I'm, I'm deliberately trying to be bad. Remember earlier when I pretended to have been uh, startled by a bad pixel man? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Oh no. Oh no, the narrative keeps branching. And the statue's gone again. What? Hmm. What is this? Weird fungal-esque growth. Is the man I stabbed still there? No. This also happened in Amnesia the Dark Descent from memory. I think they uh, locked off the entrances to these places. Hello? Hello? Somebody in there? Hello? Oh, damn. Ah! See, I know. Okay, the skeleton is dead. Thought it was one of these deals where I would jump down and be facing this way, turn around and there'd be a walking skeleton, but... Nope. This doesn't seem like an animation-heavy game, um, so I'm not gonna... St I'm gonna stop expecting those things. What is this? Oh. I don't... even know where I am. Okay. In relation to that... Uh, ghoul. Okay, I can't go up there again. Oh, oh okay, there it is. Let's just hug the right and hope that works out for us. So let's not turn around and see what that monster is. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. I'd run, as well run. He's got a lot of teeth. Nope. Uh oh. No! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, that wasn't even a scripted death. They legit want me to run away from that thing. But I don't... Okay, so... I don't know where to go. This is the leftmost path. Okay, I got another one of these emblems. I don't know how far I can uh, go just hugging the left like this. This is a dead end. But I think this is the room the guy originally came down from. Ah, uh, here's another one. Does he also have like one of these emblems to give me? Yes, he does. The eye, the pupa, and the lighthouse. What? He ran through it! I thought I was gonna, like, outmaneuver him. I don't have any stamina. Also, I think I just need one more emblem. I'm right there. Okay. No, I got all the emblems, though! You can't do this to me! Where am I supposed to go? Can you kill me from up here? Okay, I can't. 
Where am I supposed to go? You know what? Actually, I might have to go to that room he came down from because that had like four of those back thingies hanging from those chains. Also good to know that this is a safe area. Let's save up all the stamina we can. No, that's not him. Man, you can't actually just like... What are you doing? <laughs> outplayed, outplayed. Of course, there's no shame in being beaten by the best. Right there! <laughs> oh, come on. Do I have any? No, I don't have any of the emblems. Any oh my god, this takes so much time! Ugh. Okay, well. We now know basically how to do this. Assuming the AI, um, the AI, the scripting follows, I don't, whatever, like, random number generation there may be in there, hopefully, it's not advanced enough that the monster moves in too many varied ways, so I can just comfortably, um, do this. I'm still fine, I think. So I wasn't fine. Or maybe I was, I don't remember. Maybe I had to do it like that last time around too. It doesn't help that I have such limited stamina. Like, I can't run right now. See, again, I'm dead. Is this a sneak mission? I don't think it is. I think it's an RNG mission. <laughs> um, but actually, there may be a better way of pathing my way through this. Now I'm meeting the monster head on. That's not exactly the best play. It does seem like it follows the same uh, same path all the way through. Though. All right. So now, do I have a? clear path to get the emblem and make my way back through this place. Thought that was the monster for a second. Save up my stamina while it's moving. Hope to not encounter it. Also, the monster has probably despawned at this point. It would be really weird if they kept the monster chasing me. Holy crap, now I can finally read chat again. <laughs> this is just Slender the Eight Pages, but with emblems. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
This section feels kind of annoying. Yes, um, it, it was a bit annoying. But, you know, they did it. There's like an animated section in there. You can't take that away from them. Channeling that Willem Dafoe. I don't know what that means. Um, I actually just can't go down, but I can't go out. And there's no light on the island for me to uh, track. Okay, so now the... Uh, okay, no, the rotation hasn't stopped. A lot of alcohol around. I can break that. Whoa. I'm freaking drunk, bad. Is this past or present? I don't know anymore. Time is a flat circle to me. Also, it's raining inside. Just uh, FYI. That didn't happen before, I don't think. Okay, I can't go back outside. Oh, I just needed to walk a bit forward so I can get this. See, I was gonna walk, I just walked in here so that I could walk back out and see if the raining inside was an animation glitch or not. Hmm. There's actually also one of these sections in Snail where you're running around from a monster and you're picking up uh, items to uh, deactivate said monster. That looks pretty cool. Except uh, I'd argue my level design was a bit better. Not uh, not to flex too hard. Uh. This game is faster than the Snail Wars games. But people like it. So. Oh, maybe I should have explored before uh, going down here, huh? Oh. Are these all the previous lighthouse keepers? What's the lore here? No! Chad, I'm stuck. Oh no. Is that a lightning or is that a monster? Wait. What am I supposed to do now? It's right there again. Oh wait, it just damaged me. It didn't go. That tells me this is a section I'm supposed to like survive. Um because they're giving me like an added chance by just making me lose health. What am I supposed to do here? Actually, I will criticize this game in that. Like, I don't know. Because, like, the unfolding of the narrative. Oh, am I just supposed to go down here? Uh, the unfolding of the narrative has been very scripted, where you just, like, you just activate um, something and that changes the condition of the world. So it's really weird when all of a sudden it's uh, instinctive. Oh, ho, ho. goodbye, asshole. What happened to this guy? Now we get to see the narrative. 
This is bizarre. Yeah, this is bizarre. Um... I know you're there. Oh, they turned off the lights when I knocked. That said, I am really enjoying this game. And I do think there is probably some narrative unfurling here with like all these different um, perspectives they're giving me on the events. It's probably gonna all make sense in 10 minutes. So I'm um, pretty sure that I'm not supposed to interact with these guys. Um, what's going on in my house, though? Nothing I can interact with. What's going on in the lighthouse, then? Nothing I can interact with. Okay, so maybe I am just supposed to keep knocking on these doors. Seemed to... Um, where is he? Open up. Where's who? Who does my guy think he's looking for? Is he looking for the guy who uh, tricked me into going here? Open up. Uh. This keeps sinking deeper and deeper. Ugh. What about the church? I don't see any light coming from the church. Oh yeah, this is another thing. Ah! I might be making a video on um, in the coming months. Just like, here are some interesting indie horror games that I played that I think you would maybe enjoy playing. I was angled this way, so I'm going to assume they want me to go to the church this time around. Oh wait! I don't think the church is here anymore. More. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You gotta let me in the church, man. Ugh. Dead. F's, F's in chat. The guy died. He'll be all right. He needs some rest. Is this a shining dealy where, like, the keeper is out of his mind? He drinks all day and wanders around the island, chasing that kid of him, of his. He has forgotten who he is and why he's here. Soon he'll remember. Let's bring him back to the sanctuary. Uh oh. I don't think it is that shining thing. I was gonna ask if this is one of those things where, like, the ghosts of the past are trying to drag me in to the nightmare with them, but I don't think it is that. Knock a random door, then out of nowhere, Patches talks to you and gives you a weird stuff. <laughs> Here, come on, take it. Take it. He goes. And we go. Hmm. Ominous, but trustworthy. Uh, 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 why is my ca camera movement inverted? Achievement unlocked, death. Yeah, I'm a gamer. What can I say? Pro gamer here. Something draped over me. It's the boat. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. I was the thing that turned the boat over. It was me all along. But from a different time. Am I now gonna walk on the roof and, 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 and break in? I live again. Look at how sick I'm getting. 
that, if it's like that, and I'm now the guy responsible for all my own hauntings, that's like that movie Triangle, um, that boat movie, boat horror movie about time loops, spoiler alert, um, but it's not like a great movie, so it's, I don't really care about spoiling it. Interesting though. can't run, by the way. This is not me choosing to be slow for dramatic effect. I, d I enjoy your company, Chad, but I'm not trying to drag things out too much. <coughs> this is uh, some storytelling with a cough. You good, man? <laughs> I just, I'll be fine. I just caught a touch of the tuberculosis. Like, um, in Red Dead Redemption 2. A game I've been revisiting recently. Dutch! Hey, I'm getting a call again, everyone. Hold on. What? Exist. Mm. Mm. Auto. Okay. All right, hit it. Bye. Much shorter than last time around. Ah. <laughs> <gasps> Look at that. I did track in all the mud and the dirt. I am the monster. anymore or? I don't know if it's legible to you um, what's happening I'm the monster and I'm in the lighthouse now that's what we are at this, at this point who were it that done lived under the lighthouse Oh, I'm supposed to cut the string. There it is. Can I uh, actually do it though? Can I? Am I allowed to? Ah! There we go. So I need the events of this game in chronological order. <laughs> No, no, no such luck, I'm afraid. This is one of them... 104 IQ games. This 
is pretty interesting though. Um, to be put in the spot of this monster. I wonder if I'm going to uh, have a lot of interactions with the basement now. I need to eat all these potatoes. Plop, plop, plop. Love Red Dead Redemption 2. Hey, pretty cool. Damn it, dudes. Yeah, well, you know. Like, are we kinda in the past now? Is this the same character as the one we played as throughout most of the game? Uh, yeah, because like, look, he has like the lantern in one hand right now, but he also has this thing in his other hand. The timelines are converging. Maybe that thing, like those shadow people ahead of us, are actually us from an alternate dimension, right? Because now I'm chasing us while we're in the basement, remember? When I did that? When I had to run away from this thing in the basement? straight ahead until I couldn't make any other moves and then I ran to the left and I got a hole to fall into. This looks different though. Die, 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 asshole. Oh no. Trying to get to the roof. Doesn't seem like they're letting me. I wonder if I need to go over there though, because that's the next place it chased me from. Understand why I'm chasing myself. Yo, he runs whether I run or not. Hmm. Wait a minute, no, 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 no. I know for a fact that this didn't work. I tried to go to the lighthouse and I just got eaten when I tried that. Continuity error. Can I, uh, sort of like break all the glass?
Is this the moment where I'm running down to chase uh, the guy in the, in the, in the basement in everybody's favorite section of this game? Possibly. No, this is where I chase them near the end. See, I didn't have that shotgun, so I know for a fact that this is not the same time. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I feel like he just fades out whenever I get near him. Right? Am I supposed to die? The good hunter starves out the prey. No, I am supposed to get him. I don't have any dedicated uh, actual buttons to uh, attack, so... Right, he just gone! He's gone! Maybe I just need to like strafe. Yeah, to avoid being hit. Go strafe there. It was like stone in my way, man. I'm trying! I'm so bad at being a monster. But I was also really bad at being the human. Hmm, makes you think. Legitimately, it's just you need to strength. How many shots does he have? Is that what I'm waiting for here? another achievement. I'm human again, by the way. For a thousandth time, you and I have had the same dream, human. Uh, do not allow yourself. You still have no right to change your own nature and can no longer obey the voice of the Lord or his angels. You have failed this trial as you will fail it again and your sin is in uh, defiling the sanctuary in false service, in poisoning your own mind, only repentance will bring you peace. In pursuit of yourself, remember who you are and what happened to your son, and repentance is come. Where it all began, meet the restless who hover between life and death, and repentance is coming. So is the game going to start over now? Is there like a correct way to puzzle out the narrative to play the game? I'm in the church now, by the way. 
and if I do like if I play it right, it's like those grow games. You need to you need to do everything in the correct order. Oh, this isn't a cut. <laughs> this is now a cut. Now it's no longer a cut. But uh oh wait, wait, it is. If you keep your progress, is it not one of them rogue games? I don't know. I'm just waiting for like a credit scene. It is not. Okay, it's not. It's not. How freaking long is this game though? It's pretty beefy for like a six dollar indie game. I think it's actually like four dollars right now on Steam. And sitting at the table, everything seems normal, but somehow, but something is not right. In this dream, I see myself through your eyes. I am telling you something, but you are distracted and do not listen. Has someone come? No, nobody could. When you turn around, you notice that I have disappeared. When you get up and go to the room, because you know that I am hiding from you there. As you walk, you try to remember what I told you. It's complicated. What was I telling you? It was something important. Oh, that's the shadow I saw that startled me. It was uh, our dad. I can't move any faster than this, by the way. I told you that I had a strange dream, but you did not listen. In this dream, I was you, but you were not my son. Is there something on there? A diary. You enter the room, but I'm not there. There's an open book in the corner. Th that is not a corner, I don't think. There are a few words on the page. Aha! Previous keeper disappeared. The monster was behind me. No one lives under the lighthouse by So OK Entertainment Bureau. Directed by Vitaly Subkov, uh, Taras Daskov, Ivan Turmenko. Do they thank me? Nika Rusanchik, Margarita Morozova, Bogdan and Maxi. Ilya Chernovsky, Alexander Licht. That's a haunted place in one community for being so awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but wait a minute. <laughs> but they didn't thank me. <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> I could have translated the game to Icelandic. Vitaverdun <laughs> would have been called. Plugins and assets used. PSX Retro Shader by DSoft20. This is all stuff I'm gonna screenshot one day because I'm gonna be reusing all of that for my game. <laughs> hey, leaky fingers. 3D models used and remixed. Okay, so no one lives under the lighthouse ending explained. Uh. Disagree, I don't want this. Here we go. Um, use canister on fuel. Day one, day two, uh, endings. Judgment endings. Save one. Shoot the monster with the shotgun. Okay, I didn't have the shotgun. The hanged man ending. 
load save one, run into the basement, uh, avoid the monster and exit the underground. I did that. Uh, pull the closest lever, get the four medallions and place them in the chest. Your house bedroom, second floor, cut the rope under the crank. Uh, eat three bags of grain, I did this. Okay, hanged man seems like my ending. Chase after the man, behind the lighthouse, walk forwards and at the floor. Storage room safe too, go to the lighthouse. Um, this doesn't tell me what the endings mean though. Um, so far I got the true ending and the bad ending, but still feels like I'm missing another ending. It feels like I've missed a bonfire at a temple. Is there a fifth bonfire? Or are you supposed to open the chest after you lit the fourth bonfire? What are they talking about bonfires? Excuse me? Chase the keeper, but don't go under the lighthouse. Okay. Okay, so... Chat. You missed the BFG. The big friendly giant? He's in this? The BFG. I missed him. He was right there for me all along, and I missed him. Um, so what was the plot about? Ah, <laughs> uh, ugh, I don't know, it's, it's like, you know, it's kind of early, it's kind of late where I am, so my brain isn't exactly in the, in the correct spot to puzzle things together. The day a new keeper appeared, the day the terror got out of the deep. Okay, so I got all the chapters except for one. Where does this take me? The terror got out of the deep. Okay, I'm hearing it. This is the section where I cough and then I become the monster. And I think I unlock the real ending by not going under the lighthouse after I cut the string. Alright. But... Um, I can't actually do that now because I need to, uh, finish off some things so that I can go to sleep. Uh, chat! It's been two and a half hours. I did say I was going to play a horror game and I meant it and I did it. I uh, hope you liked it. Next up, we're probably going to play, um, Anatomy. That's a horror game I quite like. We might play Iron Lung. That's another one I've had my eye on. Um... And yeah, the Discord community was very active in uh, suggesting good little uh, indie horror games. If you uh, if you aren't already and you want to check that out, uh, if you aren't already in the community, I should say, and you want to check that out, the link should be in the description. Otherwise, I got a peace out. Love you all. Um, well, I guess I can watch that Mandalore gaming video now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably can, but... Also, I didn't actually do the final ending of the game, so I got I got like a bad ending, and there's another way you can play this. So I encourage everyone to uh, who's interested to pick that up, to pick this game up. Um, support your local indie developers. That's what I say. But um, anyways, I'll stream again maybe during the weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but hey, uh, one more thing. Armored Core video is finished. I just gotta clean up the outro and um, I gotta do a final render. That's coming uh, pretty soon. I gotta release that talk I did with Loki uh, about Dark Souls lore translated. I have that up on Patreon right now, actually. Uh, it's like three and a half hours. I need to move some images around for that, but that should be out soon. And then I'm uh, currently writing the script on exploration in... Uh, uh, and traversal in urban spaces in video games. That script is coming out pretty interesting. Um, I hope it. Uh, I hope it stays uh, interesting. Hope I don't just write that thing into oblivion. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, talk to you later. Bye bye. End stream. Bloop.